you connect your emotions to eating, they get upset. They can't let go of the food because food is more than just food to black women. It is, it replaces other places that they're not getting adoration and validation. When it comes to women and their weight, it's not about the weight. It's about their emotional connection to food. That food is a God to them. They bury themselves and feel better. And when they feel depressed, that food, like nothing, you have never seen someone more excited than black women getting ready to go eat. That's a fact. Like when I when I when I eat, it's literally like <laughs> when I brunch. Eat, am I lying? Oh my God! That's you will fact. never see black women so happy as when they finish. Wait, 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 like wait, 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 hold on, hold on, like hold on, hold on. Can't wait till my food come out. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't want to go eat with you. We about to go eat. <laughs> Their eyes get big. We about to go eat. Okay. Can we calm down? And clearly, again, that is an emotional attachment. You are lacking somewhere and you are you're eating your feelings. Yeah, I want to talk about black women again, uh, eating their feelings and not feeling their feelings. And I think in the black community, you know, it's very easy to navigate and sort of get away with or kind of not feel the impact of that as much. I think that we have created our own beauty standard, which to some degree is, is not necessarily a bad thing, but the health implications so that is the problem you know the health implications moving away from the the physical aesthetic and more into the health and this might be more of a woman thing because you say well how can you not feel your emotions this triggers me because i'm big i'm big because i have a food addiction i have a food addiction because i found comfort in food when i was getting assaulted. I found comfort in food when I felt like the world didn't think my face was pretty. I got comfort in food with whatever reason, because my, my dad left or my mom was abusive. Whatever reason you might have had that addiction, am I going to look at it and say, I'm going to let this rule my life? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be a victim or am I going to be victorious? And you work through that internally. Mm -hmm. What kills me is that people don't want to care about inside. It's all about outside because it's easy. Look at your outside. Oh yeah, yeah, she takes care of herself. Oh, he must have a job. Oh, he must do this. You don't know Get to know that person, talk to that person. But saying so that weight understand. is a problem and then taking it into people having their own demons they're battling is two separate, we're talking about weight. In the black community, food is used as a drug. Food is used as, you know, many people are addicted to food. Many people don't realize that they're addicted to food because it's normalized. And, and I definitely think black women, um, by and large, do suffer from um, a food addiction. And, and, and maybe in black men, perhaps as well. Um, but I think, you know, you know, I can only speak from the woman's standpoint in terms of not wanting to feel what you're feeling and using food, because anytime you eat, you're gonna get a temporary sense of like satisfaction, joy, and that's for, for most people. Like even if you're skinny, you know, even if you're skinny um, and you're fit or whatever. I mean, most people don't hate eating. I only met one person in my entire life who was like, I hate food, I wish I can just take a pill. <laughs> I'm like, really? You know, but most people enjoy food and they enjoy you know and, and I think your body releases endorphins and there's a whole science behind it and it makes sense because otherwise we would die like if we if, we, if food was if eating was a chore everybody would 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 probably die because we wouldn't eat I want to look at what happens when that temporary satisfaction that what what's supposed to be you know like a temporary satisfaction kind of thing you need to eat to feel your body whatever what happens when that is taken to the next level by people who have historical trauma by women who are insecure for whatever reason don't love themselves don't like themselves and they have access to not only whatever food they want but in many ways unhealthy food uh, processed food um, what you have is a storm firestorm of people who can easily abuse something that is meant purely to be again for fuel so it's like taking something that has a purpose a particular purpose to fuel your body and then take you know using that thing to cope to soothe um to get through life to try to be happy, 
you know, and you're using it for ways that is not intended to be used. You know, my question is always, okay, well, if it's so easy, why does Ozemp why is Ozempic a thing? Why are there so many people taking the weight loss shot? You know, weight loss drug. If if losing weight was so easy, um, why why does weight loss surgery exist? You know, gastric bypass, gastric sleeve. So all that proves to me that it's actually not easy. <laughs> you know, people want to say it is, but and in the absence of weight loss surgery, in the absence of um, the weight loss shot, um, yeah, you, you are left with your own feelings and emotions. And I'm not saying that if you get weight loss surgery and if you, you know, get the, do the shot that you don't have feelings and emotions. But, you know, in some ways that's kind of, you know, the, the doing the surgery will reduce the size of your stomach. You know, you can't actually eat a lot. Taking the shot, many people say it takes away your appetite. But if you don't have either of those things to fall back on, you really have to manage your emotions <laughs> and your feelings. So imagine a woman with, you know, coming from the hood with a lot of trauma. Maybe she's been sexually abused and, you know, you start start piling on those traumas um, 100%. It's going to be possibly harder now again i'm not saying that women who are in the hood can't lose weight or you know women who have been traumatized can't lose weight but it's just making the point that it's so much easier to um to mask your feelings with food and it feels good and and in that moment you don't have to think about your problems <laughs> you know however tem and, and then the and, and what happens is that people want that moment to last so why overeating happens is that you don't want to you don't want to stop eating because it, it the the endorphins or whatever it is it feels so good good that you want that moment for to be long standing. <laughs> Everyone who's overweight is not overweight because they're overeating. That's not always the case, but often it is food as like a pacifier because that's what a lot of Americans do. We use food, not as fuel, not as energy, but as a pacifier to pacify us to feel good. And that is a problem. So yes, yeah, so when I think about, again, the majority of black women, uh, at least in America being overweight and struggling with obesity, it makes sense. It, it's like, yep, yeah, and it doesn't mean that other cultures don't have trauma, of course, but I think in our community, we also have to remember we have a thing called soul food. <laughs> we, you know, and, and many of us are in more poor environments, um, low income environments where there's not a lot of access to, you know, unprocessed food. So there, there's barrier upon barrier. Um, and even you have Oprah, who's a billionaire, who I believe she's a billionaire who's come out and talked about being on the weight loss shot and that kind of helping her with her, you know, and, and it was a lot of shame with her for years that she was had all this money and all these resources and could, couldn't figure out how to lose weight or, or at least keep it off. Even just being hungry requires you to tap into your own emotions and feelings because that feeling of not being satiated that feeling of like, you know, and I'm not saying you got to walk around hungry, but you know, most people who lose weight, I mean, yeah, you're going to go through a period where it's a transition period where you were used to eating however much or whatever types of foods and now you've changed. You have to really tap in to another level of yourself to be able to deal with like that uncomfortability of being hungry. And that is why the weight loss drug is so popular. It's because people don't want to feel that. I don't want the uh, the side effects of that drug. And so if I don't want the side effects of the drug, then I'm going to have to be willing to do what a lot of people don't want to do, which is feel. Again, I'm going back to feel, which is feel. Excuse me, feel my emotions. Even if the emotion is hunger, or even if the feeling is hunger, 
I gotta be willing to feel that and accept that and sit in that, <laughs> you know? I don't know if you care about any of this. I just wanted to make this video. This is something that I am passionate about. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have, you know, experience with this. This is another curated legacy production and I am here to make the invisible visible about modern black women. I highlight the things that black women didn't tell you about. So like, share, and subscribe. Click the links in the description box to learn more about my business, Curated Legacy LLC, and my coaching and consulting service. Join the Black and Invisible YouTube membership group and purchase my book on Amazon about being an invisible Black woman. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.